Bloomberg News. Every time I write about a new operating system from Microsoft or Apple, I get email from people telling me that I really ought to take a look at something called Ubuntu. What's Ubuntu? Well, it's a free, consumer-friendly version of the open-source Linux operating system from a company in the UK called Canonical. You can buy Dell laptops with Ubuntu pre-installed, but you can also download it from the internet yourself and run it on pretty much any kind of desktop, laptop, or netbook that's capable of running Microsoft Windows. I've been working for several weeks with one of Dell's Ubuntu laptops, and I find there's a lot to like. Saving money, for one thing. A computer outfitted with Ubuntu, which includes the Open Office Productivity Suite, can cost anywhere from $50 to $200 less than the same hardware purchased with Windows 7 and Microsoft Office. I also like the performance and stability of Ubuntu, which, by the way, is a word in Southern African culture that means humanity and compassion. The software runs speedily on all sorts of machines, and in six weeks, I don't think I had to reboot once because of a system problem. But there's a trade-off. Despite Ubuntu's familiar graphical user interface, it's still too easy to find yourself lost in Linux land. Error messages can be as obscure as Microsoft's, maybe more so. I wasn't surprised when the included Firefox web browser needed an add-on to run the I'm a Mac, I'm a PC commercials on Apple's website. But I quickly found myself lost amid warnings that I was stumbling from something called the universe to something scarier called the multiverse. Canonical folks say my misadventure was kind of a fluke, and they're probably right. But that's exactly my point. Being consumer friendly means being tolerant of your users' dumb mistakes. It's the kind of lesson Apple Steve Jobs understands instinctively, and that even Microsoft shows signs of getting in products like Windows 7. Ubuntu just isn't quite there yet. It's for users who are interested and sophisticated enough to view computing as a bit of a hobby rather than just a way to get stuff done. Or who want to save some money and are willing to put up with a little extra hassle in order to do so. Now sometime later this year we'll see another consumer friendly version of Linux when Google morphs its Chrome web browser into a full-fledged operating system for netbooks. Odds are the Chrome operating system won't try to do nearly as much as Ubuntu does. In terms of simplicity and usability, that may turn out to be a good thing. For Bloomberg News and Business Week, I'm Rich Jaroslawski. Hear more Bloomberg News reports on the Bloomberg Terminal at AVGo, on Bloomberg Television, and on Bloomberg Radio. Copyright Bloomberg LP 2010.